Hey everyone, today we're reading Princesses Wear Pants by Savannah Guthrie and Alison Oppenheim. Those are the people who write the words of the book. Illustrated by Ava Bryan. That's the person that draws the pictures. All right, so the summary says, Princesses Wear Pants follows the unflappable Princess Penelope Pineapple. Oh, so this book's gonna be about a princess named Penelope Pineapple. Let's find out what it's about. To all who choose to read this book, it's time to give princesses a second look. The Pineapple Kingdom has a story to share of a special young princess and a surprising affair. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be a rhyming book. Princess Penelope Pineapple was her name with brown eyes, pink cheeks, and pigtails for of fame. So pigtails are when you have your hair tied up in two bunches on both sides of your head. The one thing more admired than her low flowy tresses was her closet full of tiaras and dazzling dresses. She has many types of dresses. There's fluffy ones, there's sparkly ones, there's dresses with bows, and dresses with flowers. Penny was the daughter of the king and queen, a top pineapple castle she could often be seen. With her brother Philippe and the royal cat, Miss Fussy Wiggles, what a silly name is that? A proper young lady, Penny could paint, sing, and dance. But you, did you know about her collection of pants? That is a lot of pants. And she has a ladder that she has to climb to get to the top where she stores more pants. But make sure if you are going to climb on stairs at home that you have a mom or dad or a big brother or sister or a grown-up that can help you in case you fall down. Crowns and gowns have their place no doubt, but that's not all this girl is about. She loves to sparkle, loved ruffles too, but I wear pants, she said, because I've got things to do. Early each morning, as the sun would rise, Penny got up to exercise. Mm -hmm. She'd pull on her yoga pants and a t-shirt, because a work workout, of course, is no place for a skirt. Tending the garden was a very big job, growing tomatoes and corn on the cob. To feed those in need of a meal is my duty, says the princess in pants, Pay no mind to her beauty. A pilot in the Pineapple Air Command, she did flying trick, high, uh, high flying tricks while guarding the land. In her sequin flight suit, Penny never was scared. She flipped and flew higher than others have dared. And Penny hosted the Pineapple Science Fair, a place for kids with ideas to share with solar cars, robots, and cures for the sick. Her lab coat and corduroys did just the trick. But sometimes Penny just liked to unwind, whining, wearing comfy old jeans, the patched up kind. She'd read books or daydream or write a long letter to great grandma Pineapple to make her feel better. Then came the night of the Pineapple Ball, the event of the season, come on, come on. Ladies and gents in their costumes so fine, sipping a pineapple punch, oh, how divine. Grand Lady Buzz Busy Boots would surely be there with her wagging finger and disapproving stare. Pants have, no, pants have no place on a lady, she said. That's how it has been and that's how it should stay. Penny gazed at her gowns all lined up in a row. If I can't wear pants, then I don't want to go. I love to dress up, 
but uh, just as pretty as can be. But underneath it all, I still have to be me. Once at the ball, Penny forgot all her troubles. The courtyard was brilliant with baubles and bubbles. As the crowd climbed down the palace staircase, none could imagine what would soon take place. For just at that moment, a terrible wail came from high above where a long furry tail could be seen hanging down from the tower's north wall. It was the royal kitty trying hard not to fall. Miss Fussy screeched Penny. The music then stopped. Every eye turned upward, every jaw dropped. Her plunk went the cat in the moat down below. Her royal coat soaked from ear to toe. Miss Philippe cried out as he fell to his knees. She cannot swim. Someone help her, please. I'd save her myself, but my suit would get wet. I'm not dressed to rescue the poor royal pet. Hmm, who's going to save her? Penny was ready. No need for preparing to spring into action, no matter what she was wearing. The crowd thought for sure in her ground she'd in her gown she'd be sunk but under her skirt was her pink swimming trunks she dived into the water and swam toward the cat and rescued miss fussy in five seconds flat miss fussy in arm penny swam back around slipped it on her shoes and shook off her gown she handed the cat to a grateful prince p who said, in dresses or trunks, you're braver than me. The kingdom rejoiced and sang penny praises. The pineapple princess always amazes. Lady Busy Boost took the stage and grabbed the mic. From now on, princesses should wear what they like. We've all learned a lesson from Penny today. Sometimes our dresses can get in the way. The Pineapple Kingdom proudly agreed, we must be ourselves as the lady decreed. The princess helped when no one else could, she saved the day just like a good royal should. Penny smiled and said as she started to dance, it's what princess do, this is why we wear pants. Almost done. Turn the page to finish this book. <gasps> Finished book. That's the end.